Hi, I'm Jim Shore. Today we're here in one of my workshops. Uh, it's, uh, it's very cluttered, so you can ignore that. <clears throat> but what, are we gonna, what I'm going to show you is a project that is very easy to do, and it's a lot of fun to do too. It's preparing for Halloween. This is an example right here of what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Uh, I'm going to walk through it with you because it's very simple. <clears throat> this is all obviously a tree with uh, the tombstone and uh, the pumpkins and the owl and so forth. This is all free-handed on construction insulation styrofoam. <clears throat> it's readily available at your, your big box stores or your home stores like Home Depot and Lowe's and so forth. And it, this is, happens to be two inches thick. So it's, but it's very lightweight and it's extremely easy to, to use. Um, I'll give you an example uh, Dominique, hand me a piece of that scrap over here and I'll show you. This is, uh, this is what, it, what it looks like. It's in a board like this. You can cut it with a jigsaw uh, or you can cut it with a knife if you're very careful or you can use uh, even a bread knife works on it. But uh, I'll give you a, just a taste of what uh, cutting it with a jigsaw, how simple it is. It cuts like butter. And I used a magic marker to just put a, a design on, uh, on the piece freehand. And I think a lot of you can do that. And if you can't, get some help. <laughs> but it cuts like this. So you can, you can do it in just a matter of minutes. Any kind of, uh, any kind of design you want. This happens to be... Uh, the tree, but I've got some examples here which we'll show you in a minute of some other things we've cut out. Uh, pumpkins and uh, cauldrons and, and bats and so forth. And then what we do now is once you get it cut out, and I might add that you can glue this stuff together. So you can glue elements onto it, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But I'll show you what you use to do that with. This is 3M Super 77. Use this and only this, sticking this stuff together, because uh, the accelerants in a lot of this type of spray adhesive will uh, dissolve the foam, and you don't want that. I've got uh, some other here. Now this is the 3M90. This will dissolve the foam, but you can use it to spray uh, areas of it, and it'll give you this kind of texture as it eats the foam away. So. That's something to keep in mind if you want texture like stone or, or bark or something like this. But if you stick it together, use this. This is one of those kind of things that you spray a little bit of a film on both sides and it's very controllable. You let it uh, tack for about a minute, you stick it together, and it's done. I'll show you some examples of how we've stuck this stuff together when we start this painting process. Now we're going to go over here to the other side of the shop here and uh, I'll show you a piece that I've already assembled that's got a lot of elements on it. And, uh, I'll, and we'll, we'll paint it up and uh, we'll get, get this stuff out of the way. This is good to have, to clean up with. Because <laughs> now this, this actually is a pretty clean process. It's not like the regular styrofoam that has all those little white balls that gets all over you. Uh, it's, it's more like, almost like sawdust. So you can sweep it up and, it, and keep your area pretty clean. This is a sprayer. You can, you can do this with, a, with a, a hand brush. But I'm using a, a latex, a, acrylic latex, and it's water-based. That's the only kind of paint to use. Now, this is just regular interior house paint. <clears throat> do not use oil base on this because, once again, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, dis the distillants and the petroleum additives and so forth in, the, uh, in the, the oil paint will once again dissolve this, uh, this type of uh, foam. So use water-based acrylic just like you would if you were painting a room. Okay, whoops. Now, this is the this is the piece I was talking about. Like a haunted house, okay? Now this is crude, it's quick, 
it just took I bet it didn't I bet it didn't take a half an hour to cut all this stuff out and these are just scraps and so forth that we made into tombstones a little ghost some uh, other things that carved up a, a skull and then stuck it on with that super 77 that I was just talking about so and it is ready to paint I'll show you how quick that goes hopefully oh yeah and follow all the instructions on a paint can about if you want to do it in a well ventilated area and wear a dust mask if you need to protective eye gear rubber gloves hazmat suit if you want I don't care but you know, so follow the instructions so you'll be safe all the things that I ignore <laughs> All right, everybody, we finished the spray painting. It's not dry yet, but uh, this gives you an idea of what it looks like. And you can put that up against the wall or up against, uh, you know, uh, or you can make something different, you know, something. You just use your imagination, but use that technique of cutting the foam, gluing the foam, and then spray painting it. Uh, you can either do it in detail with a brush, you can spray it like I did with a sprayer, and it'll turn out this kind of project. And it, it, it's quick, it's easy, it's a lot of fun. The kids could be involved, and it's something that you'll enjoy. And you can put it away and use it uh, every year. And not just for Halloween, you can do it for Thanksgiving, you could do it for Christmas, uh, a birthday, or what have you. So uh, use your imagination and, uh, and get creative, and you can uh, do something like this lickety split. Okay, the next time we get together, I'll show you a collection of the, uh, the finished pieces that we'll be using in our Halloween uh, celebration and, and maybe uh, it might inspire you to do the same thing. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.